I'm Scott Al Miller. It is the 15th of May, 2023, and this is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. Today, Cami and I are heading into the mountains. We're going up to the highland city of Hinotega, which she's never been to before and I have not seen in eight years. So a lot has changed. I'm sure we're going to be taking a drive, seeing some things along the way, and our bump today is actually provided by an artist that we met in the park. So we're going to let Victor take it away from here. <laughs> So the drive from Leon to Hinotega is just under three hours if everything goes well. Our first mistake was we left really early and we didn't get coffee. So we stopped at Casa del Cafe and realized we were there an hour before they opened, which you can see in our short where we were complaining about a lack of coffee. And then a later short where we got the Sabaco and we're excited because we found a gas station with coffee. So that's important to know. If you miss Casa del Cafe as you leave Leon to the north, there isn't a coffee stop short of like some little thing on the side of the road that you don't know if it has coffee until you get all the way to Sabaco, which is about two hours. That's a long way. And if you do get to Sabaco, it's the Pronto gas station you're going to want to look for. That's that's about it. So that's a long gap without any coffee. The road from Leon goes up to Talica. That's the Empalma where it makes the transfer to the Highland Road. That is Nicaragua Route 26. And that goes quite a ways across the Highland Plains and through the middle of the Volcano District, which is gorgeous. I love going through the volcanoes. Like that's like one of the coolest places to drive in the country. It's a long, mostly flat road, really beautiful farmland, and it's really lush farmland because it's volcanic, like really rich, constantly being replenished volcanic soil. So you get a lot of really green, verdant, like amazingly lush farmland up there. And it's just fun to drive through. There's also a lot of trees. There is a little bit of uh, hills that you go through. You actually go through gold mining country, which is interesting. Uh, we did make a stop along the way. We just, it's so beautiful with the volcanoes and the rice paddies. There's a lot of rice production in Nicaragua in general, but up in the mountains, because rice and beans are like the staple of cuisine here. So there has to be a lot of local rice production, which people tend to forget about. And sorry, we're actually, there's a fire really close. There's all this smoke and ash actually dropping on us as we talk here. It's a little bit rough. And I, you, I'm sure you can see in the background that this is not as, as clear as it normally is, but it's actually hard to breathe. It's just a fire just over our wall. Uh, and so we stopped in the rice fields. This is gorgeous. So we're gonna cut to that and come back because that was just fantastic. We've been driving since 6.30 this morning and it's currently about 7.45. We are just a little bit uh, east of uh, Malpaisio in eastern uh, uh, Leon Departmento. And you can see some absolutely gorgeous, now I'm on a really wide lens, so these are closer than they look, some really gorgeous volcanoes out behind me. And these colors that you're seeing are real. I, I'm not even set to vibrant. This is the standard setting. I'm on the, the X3 right now and it's not even eight o'clock in the morning. These colors are amazing amazing. These are the rice paddies in the high plateau as you head out on the road. And this just goes and goes. It is so beautiful up here. This whole high flat plateau is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorite areas that it's just so relaxing. I mean, not many people want to live up here. There's nothing to do, right? It is beautiful drives, beautiful open countryside. We've been road tripping for over an hour. And this is our first real stop that we just wanted to get some pictures because it's, it's unique and really, really interesting. So we're having a lot of fun. Cami is out getting, I don't know if you can even see her very, very far in the distance there. Uh, she's getting some, some pictures while I'm doing some 360 grabs. So we're doing as much as we can to get lots of different media for you guys, but we're heading up to Hinotega high in the mountains and there's no way you can see them, but there's this, this very faint ridge of mountains behind me. Uh, and that is Hinotega and Matagalpa are up in those mountains. So that's where we're headed. We're going to get back in the car uh, and uh, we'll see you from a little bit farther down the road. Once we got to Hinotega, uh, that went really well. We actually stopped just outside of town and got breakfast. Our destination for the day is Hinotega up in the mountains. And our first stop as we came into Hinotega itself was Nika Sabor, which is a breakfast restaurant with amazing views of the, the outskirts of Hinotega. So we stopped here to get breakfast and uh, traditional Nicaragua breakfast. Like there's no tourists coming up here. This is all locals coming in from out of town. So we're gonna show you Kemi having breakfast here. 
We have gallo pinto and huevos, tortillas, queso, y crema. And I'm gonna walk you around really quickly and give you some of these views. We're up in a tower, so we have views in every direction and it's so beautiful up here. But I wanted to kind of walk around and do this as awkward as it is because these views are so good. This is where we came from, came down the hill. You can see the mountains get, sorry about that, really high around us. I'm hoping the audio is good on this. I'm using the X3 because it's what I have with me. And we're taking this time to charge up the phones and stuff as well, uh, do a little bit of uploads, and we're gonna be heading, the city is just behind me. We're gonna be heading in there right after breakfast and going to Central Park, going to the church, hopefully going up to the lake, doing some walk arounds around town. We're gonna do a bit of stuff for you guys. So we're having a great road trip and we got started really early this morning, so we're doing really well so far. So fingers crossed that it keeps going well and we're gonna go enjoy some breakfast. And after breakfast, we drove into the city proper. We just went along one of the ni really nice roads leading into town, absolutely gorgeous, actually. One of the nicer like city entrance roads that I've found. Uh, we just parked along there, which is really easy. That's one of the great things about Hinotega. Parking is free and simple. I would recommend if you look on a map as you come into town, just uh, get off the main road. There's a there's a road that veers along uh, the main highway. Just get off there. You can park along there. It's like it's almost like a boulevard. It's not actually split, but it gives you that feeling. Big trees over the road. There's shade for your car. Uh, Hinotega is normally a little bit cooler, although we hit a 30 degree day. It's normally more like 25, so it was quite warm for Hinotega. We were looking forward to some cool temperatures and didn't exactly get them, but it was cooler than here. So it was still a win, but a minor one. Uh, but we just parked and walked to a, a couple parks. We walked around the city a little bit, which we're gonna show you guys. And it's, it's a beautiful walk, but it's not a tourist city, remember. So there's a couple churches to see. There's some really nice parks. I'm really impressed with the parks uh, and nice people. I think there's actually more restaurants and uh, like venues than you would expect in a city of that size. So that's not bad if you're looking to eat or whatever. We did hit a cafe. We looked at a few things, uh, but mostly we just did a little bit of walking around uh, and then filmed for you guys and headed out of town. All right, after a busy morning of driving, we were up early at 4.35 o'clock, got ready, and about 6.30, well, a little bit before 6.30, we were out the door. We were not able to get coffee, but we did manage to hit up a Pronto gas station, got some coffee there, made it through uh, Sabaco, through uh, Madagalpa, and we made it to Hinotega. We stopped for an amazing breakfast, uh, which we recorded for you, and now we have made it down to Hinotega, proper and we're here in Central Park which is one of the beautiful Central Parks. I mean Nicaragua has a lot of great Central Parks, parks in general. This one is I think especially nice partially because much cooler weather you're able to have completely different things and you can see these trees behind us are really something. This is beautiful back here. Have this incredible red. I hope this really shows up. I think it's going to show up great and you can I hope you can see the mountains around us are amazing so we're very high altitude as it is i mean this is the highest city in nicaragua uh, but the city's actually in a valley and there's really high mountains all the way around it and they uh, you probably can't see because of all the trees but they go all the way around us here in the park uh, so this is the middle of the city this is a smaller city uh, much smaller than Amatagalpa, much smaller than Managua, of course, smaller than Leon. Um, it is really the smallest of the large cities, uh, or at least what we would classify that. It is not the, the smallest of the capitals, uh, but it's the, it's the very smallest of what we talk about as the main cities. So we're going to hang out here in Central Park for a little while. We're just going to get some views. Uh, we want to go see the church, and we're going to explore some. We're going to walk some of the streets and show you guys uh, Hinotega. So we're very excited to be here. This is cool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go walk. That is part of the Alcadia. That is the mayor's office, so city kind of municipal facilities there. Be a quick view, there's a gas station. The architecture and stuff up here in the mountains is always a little bit different, but each one of them, uh, each of the, the mountain cities is different than the others. One of the things I love about this park is they have these fences, right? So you, or whatever, the railings. So you're able to have much more uh, uh, manicured, much more beautiful gardens, a lot more exotic, more interesting. You can't really do that in most of the parks because everything is so accessible. People play in it, walk in it, whatever. But these are like real gardens that they take care of. Uh, it's really well done, so it's a beautiful park, um, and they're well known for it. And this dog is having a great time running around. Look how happy he is. He is the park dog. You're the park dog. Where are you going? 
Hello. En un video aquí, con música nicaragüense. Ah, sí. Aquí con Marcelo. Score. Score. Eh, eh, son amigos aquí. Mucho gusto, ¿Perdón? Marcelo. ¿Qué gusto? Más Camila. Camila. Un sí. bonito nombre, Camila. Se vende esta casa con todito lo que tiene. Somos nicaragüenses todos. Sí. Pinoleros. Gracias a Dios. Se remata, se remata. Ya veo lindrata. Que conmigo la habitaba Con tanta vergüenza Me destroza, me destroza Hasta el sinsonte Se murió por no mirarla El perro agulla y fallece Muchísimas gracias, hoy fin de semana. Feliz viaje, oiga, feliz. All right, we're here in Inotega. This is Marcelo. Marcelo, mucho y... gusto. Victor. Victor. Sí. Ah, and uh, just got some uh, traditional Nicaraguan music here in the park. Uh, and uh, everyone just hanging out. That's the channel. And uh, yeah, this is hanging out in Central Park here in Inotega. All right, we got a cute looking restaurant over here. These happy dogs are like running in front of us wherever we go. So that was Parque Auto Costco. We're gonna come past it again here on what I think might be the east side. I really don't know which side we're on. It's very easy to get turned around up here in the mountains, but this is a very cute park. I'm very happy with this park. And it's very easy to get to as you come into town and there's a cow statue in it. That's pretty funny. Oh, here's a cute little cafe, cafe, cafe place. We're definitely looking for more coffee. We've had two, but two is only the beginning. They're following us now. Are you our pack now? Nineteen sixty six. Oh, there's a fire up in the mountain. Look at that. That's a rather sizable fire really high in the mountains. It's not the first one we've seen today either. Now that we're outside the park, you can see how high the mountains are on the other side of town behind me. It gets really high. Like if you were to put houses or anything up there, they would really be inaccessible. It's extremely steep mountainsides here. So the city has a fair amount of space, but it's very much contained by the mountains on pretty much all sides. And, uh, and there's a river that comes down from the lake and the dam uh, up higher, which we're hoping to get to uh, at some point, maybe not today, uh, but definitely is very, very interesting and something different in the area. We're going to keep on heading towards Central Park because uh, that's big and famous. There's a lot of cool parks here. We're just going to kind of zip around the city and show you what we see. Quite different architecture here in, Le in, in Hinotega than in Leon. We're uh, a much more recent city. This departmento was only formed in 1871. I believe that's right. Uh, must be 1891. Um, so 
this is not a colonial city in any way. This is a much more modern city. Obviously, the late 1800s already had population, uh, and so it's not a recent, recent city, but it is much more modern than most of Nicaragua that we show on the show. Uh, so this gives a very different feel. This is a school, I'm sure, here that we're going by. Not as dense of a city, I feel, in many ways. When you're in Matagalpa or Leon, it feels like there's a lot heavier population density. This feels a little bit more loose, a little bit more relaxed. The streets are a little bit wider. Traffic isn't so, so heavy. We did pick a relatively warm day, though. Oh, I just want to show down this street. That's a cool church something. Yeah, let's go down that way. I want to take a look at what this is. And there's a cafe that looks nice. We may have to stop there too. <laughs> that might be the reason I decided to come down this way. Oh, I don't think that's open. It has good reviews, but is it open? Well, that's sad. Well, that's a fail. Maybe they're only open in the morning. It's 1230 now, so. Oh, this is a very cute church. Ooh, it's windy all of a sudden. I've never seen a church that looks like that. Yeah, this is really unique. Yeah, it's like a tower. Yeah. Really interesting. I don't think I've been past this church before. Sorry for the incredible wind, everybody, but really cool spot. Got like cool fountains, but they're not running. How interesting. Much better view of the fire here. That is a lot of the mountainside burning there. I can only imagine that that was a lightning strike or something. I can't, I can't figure out why someone would bother going up to burn part. Well, it's all over the mountainside though. Got a street market here. What are these? All right, as we walk through downtown, there's a huge mega boutique Zona Norte. This is, I've seen mega boutiques before, but I've never seen one anywhere near this big. This is huge. And I've never seen one standalone like this. I had no idea like anything like this existed. That's a huge variedades. This is a really modern church in the middle of the city. Uh, you don't normally expect to find anything like this in the middle of Nicaraguan cities. Big fence, so I hope this doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure where the front is exactly. They have this big park around the church. Like there's like a playground down there. Like they have this entire city block, it looks like. It's very attractive, but very surprising. And I'm not sure what that building with all the stairs is beyond it. I'm interested to explore a little bit more in that direction. But I hope these views give a little bit of uh, a little bit of an idea just how mountainous it is around this. What is interesting to me is that Hinotega is higher and has more mountains than Matagalpa, but Matagalpa is more built into the mountains, so the actual city itself is, is more up and down, uh, whereas Hinotega is more of a valley between the mountains, uh, but far more contained by them. It's a cute little street we're going down here. We're going to head down there and go see the church in Central Park. All right, we have finally arrived at Central Park. This is a really large park in the middle of the city. Really beautiful. And we have this gorgeous church right across the road. And this really classic Hyundai. I've never seen one that old before. Okay, we've made it to the Central Park and the church here in Hinotega, and uh, we're just going to walk through the park and show uh, what it looks like down here. This really is the center of the city, and like a lot of the parks 
in Nicaragua is it gets a lot of activity. There's a lot of people here. There's shopping, there's food, there's places to relax, places for the kids to play, a playground. Uh, the air is actually pretty nice. We're here on a warm day. I do have to say, we're here, it's much warmer than it is on an average day, and it's very sunny. So we picked a warm day, but it is still quite a bit cooler than it is in Leon, and it's very comfortable. So when the breeze picks up, it's not great for the microphone, but it does feel good for us. So we're going to head this way into Central Park, but I hope you guys enjoy the views of this beautiful city here in northern Nicaragua. After Central Park, we've just been walking around the city, went and found some more coffee because you can't have enough coffee. That's not really a thing. So we got a little bit more of that and we got some cakes, got a huge tres leches. It was delicious at Delicias Silvia here in Hinoteca. And uh, you know, all the banks here have really nice buildings. Check out La Fise behind me. The streets are pretty quiet in general. I'm really surprised. But uh, we're walking more or less towards the car and uh, just going to show you guys some of the city as we walk through. Uh, and then we're, our plan is actually to drive up to the lake because I've never been up to the lake here in Hinotega. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty big lake and it's supposed to be pretty cool. So we're going to do that. I had uh, the people in the park took selfies with me and at the uh, bakery cafe place uh they mentioned that i was on channel six uh two days ago so people have seen it and do recognize me um, which is pretty cool so it is 30 degrees today very <laughs> i mentioned this to people on the channel it's warmer than we expected it to be uh normally you expect it to be in the 20s not it's not cold uh up here in the mountains but it's it and it, 30 is a bit cooler it's about 35 36 celsius down in leon and a little bit higher in chinandega uh Managua is probably 34, so dropping four degrees is quite noticeable, but this is very warm for Hinotega. Much more likely to find it closer to 25, 26, uh, which is very cool and relaxing, but uh, this is not bad. Certainly a nice change for us. Walking around is very pleasant. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Got a nice view of the street and mountains here. The architecture up here, not as interesting as, say, Madagalpa. That's a cool pulperia. But the surrounding mountains make for some nice views. It's a fancy barber shop. Always young. Tire shop of the north. It's a very chill city very quiet which is different nicaragua has a tendency towards being quite a loud place lots of loud music a lot of loud things going on people yelling and here i find that it's just pretty quiet for a good sized city it's surprising like i hear birds everywhere palm trees in the mountains This hotel is very cute. Actually, this whole street is really cute. Oh, okay. Well, it's not the cleanest river, but it's a, if this was clean, it'd be super cute. This could be an awesome little canal way with the cute hotels and stuff along it, but getting these waterways clean, it would make all the difference. This is a nice little neighborhood. Oh, I want to walk down this street over here. We're going to explore. It's a bit cleaner over here and it sounds really nice. It actually has so much potential. 
I feel like a lot of these are wasted, like these really small houses that sit on the river with these like small little patios. You could put a beautiful patio and garden thing on these rivers with a little bit of work cleaning them up. These could be amazing, like, I mean, it's a small waterfront. It's not a big river. It's not going to be navigable or anything, but you could, you could do something really beautiful and make some really highly desirable spaces in the city with just the littlest bit of effort. But this is a cute street, which must be curved because it's going along the riverfront. Got some cute homes here. Hello? <laughs> so they wanted to practice their English, but they just said hello guys and then slammed the door when we said hello. The water gets very calm over here. Definitely not a lot of it. One of the reasons that trash is a problem is because when the rains come, anything that's in the streets gets swept into the river. And then when there's pressure in the river, it goes down the stream and nothing's gonna stop it. And so it just kind of collects from the, from the storms. It's, it's very difficult to avoid. Okay, we just came around the corner from the little river road and this is a cute little spot. Well, I don't know if that's one house or two. I think it's two. What a great job they did. Look at that. I mean, it's small, it's older. They made it, made it really attractive. Okay, so these are for sale. There's two of these, I assume. They're connected and by for sale for the same, yeah, same person. So I'm just gonna get a quick video here. Show you where we are uh we're right at the jc cell store which is really attractive like for a cell store i mean take a look at this place like really nice tile work and well kept nice windows like it's very attractive okay so we were just walking down the street and kids on bicycles came up and said uh we saw you on television right what's your youtube channel uh so i had to give them a card that's three people now just walking the streets of Hinotega who have come up and recognized me from the from the television show on Friday. So that's pretty interesting. I was not expecting that kind of like, like it's cool to be on TV, but who watches the morning show and who remembers someone from the morning show? I guess I'm the American with the beard walking around and that I walk around with a camera is very different than everyone else. Okay, look at this building. This is so out of place. This beautiful, this could be in New York City. Like this cool, old, stylized brickwork. Now, the bottom is painted green to advertise the store, but it kind of ignore that. Look up top, this red brick with red work. Like this is so classic, like 1920s. Um, you could put a speakeasy in that. It would be so cool. And they've got an outdoor patio there. And there's like some cool, like curved work and up front you've got this curved stuff this is beautiful work on this brick building i'm loving this see if i can not get hit in the street here other people are in the street at least we'll all die together that is a great building i really like that we found an interesting roundabout and kind of park thing here I will say that I think the streets in Hinotega lean towards the confusing, uh, mostly because there's rivers and mountains and they can't really lay out a grid like some of the other cities can. Um, so it's a lot of like winding streets and things don't necessarily lead directly from one place to another. And that makes it a bit more challenging to make your way through the city, especially if you're not used to it. But it's also very pleasant and quiet. This is probably the same river we came along earlier. But it may be a different one. There's a chicken in the river. Oh, it's kind of beautiful down there.
I'm gonna cross the road and see it over on the other side as well. There's motorcycles coming really quickly, so I'm gonna hoof it. <laughs> All right. It kind of turns a corner over there. It's like it comes through a tunnel and comes out suddenly and then comes through this kind of canal. Interesting, I wonder what that's, I think that's underneath a building. There's so much potential with rivers coming through cities. I and mean, these are tiny, right? We would not call these rivers back home. We would call them creeks or something. And okay, more architecture that I wanna go look at. Sorry, I'm getting distracted as I walk around. We're in a cool part of the city. And uh, I don't know what this is, but look at this beautiful house. Or at least potentially, it's pretty cool, but I don't know what it is. All right, continuing on up the street. Clearly that has a lot of potential. You could do something amazing with that. That's a really cute vet's office over there. I like the outside white spiral staircase with all the white uh, uh, ironwork and the tiles around the windows. That's very nice. Well done. Good styling. Two thumbs up. This place on the corner is kind of cute. I'm just kind of stumbling on things. I have no idea what we're going to find anywhere. The palm trees along here are quite quite cute. I remember driving down this street eight years ago. This is a really cute house here on the corner. They have an interesting sidewalk thing going on outside too. Check this out. I'm gonna try to get this up a little bit. This is totally not, and like pine tree in front, garden going on, great styling, lots of greenery, lots of foliage. This is fantastic. It really is. This is a really well done large house with great outdoor gardens. Nice two car garage. Oh, that's really well done with open gates. You get lots of air and visibility, but still secured. It's a cute little really narrow yellow house, but it goes way back. They've done a nice job with it, but to work with being really, really narrow. There's some cute spots along here. The stones and the, and the plants. Little law office here, curved corner. I do like a lot of the style that they do up here in the Highlands, here in Matagalpa uh, and Esteli to an extent. It's very different than Leon and, uh, and Granada uh, and Managua. You can tell you're in a different region, a lot of different inspirations. Uh, architecturally, and it makes for a lot of variety, which is important. That's a lot of stuff going on out there. We're just on our way, walking through town and stumbled on a couple of football games going on. There's a really large field complex out here. There's at least three games going here. There could be four. I'm not sure. There's so many people out here, I can't tell how many games are being played. So this is a kind of standard cute house, and that is Bugs Bonnie. I, I, I don't know what's happening here. It looks like Bugs Bunny staring at someone called Bugs Bonnie, who's possibly on LSD. Stumbled on another cute place over here. Love these big trees. This is a standard across the country. It's not unique here or anything, but really well done. Right here makes for a really beautiful, noticeable spot. Kind of heading east, I think. We're no. Well, we're gonna turn north here, so we must've been going west. I can't believe how many people are out on this field today. It has to be half the city. Okay, so we're walking down the street. Some nice houses here. The game is just behind us, but we spotted a castle thing down the street, so we're off to check it out. 
because what what is that what there was that other castle earlier now there's this one there's like some theme going on here and there in the city i do not understand Cartoons and castles. I think this place is going to be completely amazing when we get there. I can tell the front is bright and beautiful. I'm going to take the shadowy way so we can pop out and see it all of a sudden. Wow. It's like a little piece of Barcelona has exploded into Nicaragua. This is... Yeah, this is fantastic. This front does not do justice to the fact that there's like an extra turret up in the back. Let me get the... So there's another road coming in on the side. That building is green. This place is... I mean, first of all, this is very large. But it's also... The colors are perfect. grabbing a lot of shots of pretty houses as we walk by just was going up the street and saw this one I know you guys love seeing like the different houses and architecture just what it does and can look like around Nicaragua is just another cool example of what someone has done in a neighborhood tile work I'll you know a big secret here I think is lots of plants and lots of iron work tile iron and plants that's the architectural pieces that really work consistently whether it's because of the weather or uh, the, the municipal spaces or whatever, but uh, that seems to be what really gets the attention as a, as a beautiful space. And uh, grab a little bit more of this ballpark and all these people out here. Well, that's a big house on the other side of the uh, ballpark there. This area has a big, beautiful sidewalk. This has got a great city feel to it. You've got a small sidewalk on the inside, this beautiful line of trees. Look at these trees, this is great. And then this like triple wide sidewalk over here. And then the other side has a sidewalk too, up against the ballpark. This is really, really nice. Plus it's a beautiful light and time of day. This whole area with these trees, these wide roads. This is a very pleasant city feeling area, like a great bit of just municipal design. Not that the rest of Nicaragua lacks this, but this area particularly feels really good. Like this is an incredibly comfortable area to walk around in. Um, and of course, with the ballpark here, with the shade from the trees and the cooler weather up here in Hinotega, this is incredibly comfortable to be out. And then we have a school here. Partially, I'm sure that's why all of this is where it is, that there's a large school complex right against it. But really nice just for walking around okay check out this amazing tree we just found this is one single enormous tree creating all this shade on this block and that tree is not outside that tree is inside that house and those bits have all grown out through the gates in front through the metal mesh that's unbelievable i'm walking over here get a closer look at this this is crazy and look how much has been sawed off of it They've had to cut this so far back. This is nuts. Okay, so its roots are just inside the building, like in the patio way. But holy cow. And there's a tree house built into it. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a balcony and layers all through that. But I'm not sure if the, I'm pretty sure the tree grew around a balcony that was there. This is, I mean, this is huge. I can't figure out how this could have happened in any reasonable amount of time. And their security, their wire goes around the tree. Whoa, what? What? And it even has supports for the tree. The tree supports the house, the house supports the tree. I, I don't know what my brain is exploding. So it was a it was a really fun day. Like that was cool doing the whole thing and we did a little bit of a drive that i'd never done before so there's a little bit of road i'd never seen uh, like where we got breakfast that was new to me 
And uh, yeah, it was fun. There's always cool houses to see. Hinotega is an important city for those who are considering uh, the expat life. You're looking at maybe moving here, whether you're a digital nomad or looking for a permanent move. Uh, if you're going to look at Hinotega, my, my audience always wants this information, right? The what is this going to be like for me if I'm moving? And Hinotega has the benefit of being incredibly safe uh, very low key. This is it was noticeably quiet. Like this is a tranquila ciudad. Uh, very little noise going on. People aren't in the street like they are other places. Um, it's I mean it's still a lively social place. The Central Park was full of people, uh, but in general this is a much more laid back life. It is a smaller city. Traffic is not crazy at all. Parking is easy. Everything is cheap. It's a very low cost city. Uh, it's cooler weather. But you're going to find there's no expats and very few activities. So if you're a, a, someone who wants to go out a lot and really needs a lot of variety, it's going to be really rough for you. If you're someone who's looking for cooler weather and absolutely no expats and are happy living a Spanish-only lifestyle and getting into the Nicaragua thing, Then, Higo, Hino, <clears throat> then Hinotega may be exactly what you're looking for. It's not for everyone, but it is a beautiful city. Almost everyone I know who is going to look at it agrees that they probably don't want to live there, but love the city and it always ends up on someone's radar. Just it never makes it to the top of the list, it seems. It is a nice city. I like it a lot. So we had a lot of fun going to Hinotega. It was a great road trip. It was a great city to see. We did interesting things. We got live music in the park. We uh, hit a cafe, uh, walked around a bit, got some exercise, cooled down a little, and then went on and did other activities. The whole thing was a lot of fun um, and highly recommended. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at the link I'll put above. It's buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That comes directly to support the channel as the best way to help us afford to do these kinds of trips. Because even though we do things on the cheap, we still got to pay for gas and, and coffee and all that stuff. Literally buy me a coffee. So that's where that comes from. And if you're looking for information on relocation, looking for any kind of assistance, hit up our email info at relocatenicaragua.com and reach out to us. We'd love to help you with anything involving your journey into expatidum. And uh, as always, share with your friends, tell people, put it on social media, and we will see all of you from Lago Apanas tomorrow. Thank you.